Welcome to the Daisy Buddy Camper Badge. Camping is an adventure. You play in nature, eat outside, and sleep under the stars with your family or buddies. Your buddies could be the girls in your troop or other friends. Are you ready to go camping? Let's look at the three steps to earn this Daisy Badge. Step one is to help plan a camping trip. Step two is to help pack for your trip. Step three is to go camping. As a note, Daisy Buddy Camper is the second badge in the Daisy Outdoor Journey. Be sure to check with your troop before starting this badge to make sure they aren't earning the journey already. And remember, where you see this symbol of a camera, be sure to take a picture to share with your troop. Step one, help plan a camping trip. When you find out you're going on a camping trip, you might have some of these questions. Where are we going? What will we eat? Where will we sleep? What will I need to bring on our trip? What will I do when we get there? Find out the answers to your questions and be part of planning your trip. It will make it so much more fun. There are two choices. You can do one or both. The first is to make a camping caper chart. At camp, everyone has chores and jobs to do. A caper chart is a way to keep track of who is doing what. With a parent or another adult, draw a caper chart with a list of all the things you can do on a camping trip. You can even download a caper chart that has some suggestions of things to do. You can see the picture of that on the bottom left and download it below in the description from our page of Daisy Ideas. Or two, you can plan a simple meal. Be in charge of planning one dish for your camping trip. With an adult, decide what you want to make. Write out a list of what you'll need to make it. Find out how to pack the food for your trip. Will any of your items need to be washed and cut like fruits and vegetables? You don't actually have to go to a campsite. There's lots of other places to go, but you may research online for national parks. Be sure to have an adult with you and follow all online safety rules. Take a picture of your camping caper chart or attach it to your final report for your leader. Step two is to help pack for your trip. Be prepared is the Girl Scout motto. This means finding out what you will bring on your camping trip. What will you wear if it rains? How will you make sure you don't get a sunburn? Will you bring your books or favorite stuffed animal? Here are the choices. Do one or both of them. Pack a bag. Ask a family member to help you make a list of what clothes and things you will need for your trip. Collect all the things and then pack them into a bag. If you're camping with friends or sister or brother or grandparents, pack together and make it a race. Or get help from a camping expert or an older Girl Scout. With a family member, go to a sporting goods store or go to a sporting goods store online. Talk to an expert about all the different things you need while camping. You can also ask an older Girl Scout who has done a lot of camping. Here are some questions to ask. Where do I sleep at a campsite? How will I carry water and keep it cool? What will I need to wear for cold days, hot days? and how are meals made. Remember to take a picture of any part of the badge that you do. Step three is to go camping. Now that you're at the campsi campsite or set up in your own backyard, practice a new camp skill or go on a hike. So here are some choices. Remember, do one or both. Learn to tie a square knot and have a knot tying contest. Tying a square knot is a lot like tying your shoes. If you can't tie your shoes, that's okay. You can still learn to tie a square knot. Then have a contest to see who can tie a square knot the fastest. There's a link below 
with detailed instructions on how to tie a square knot. You can print that out and practice with family. Or our Girl Scouts of the USA blog has a video of essential knots and the square knot is one of them. With a, an adult, you can visit that video and practice your knots there. Option two is to take a hike on a trail. But before you do, make sure you, all, you know all the safe camp rules. Also, learn how to protect nature while you're on a hike. You may want to look at the leave no trace principles. Leave no trace is one, know before you go, know where you're going. Two, choose the right path and stay on a path. Three, trash your trash. Four, leave what you find. Five, be careful with fire. Six, respect wildlife. And seven, be kind to other visitors. Some safe camp rules, which you can print out, are learning about poison ivy and poison oak. They both have three leaves. So to be safe, stay away from plants with three leaves. Leaves of three, let it be. Choose a buddy and stay with her at all times. Never walk alone. Drink lots of water, especially when you go on a hike. Wear sunscreen and hats to protect from the sun. Wear shoes with closed toes to protect your feet. No flip-flops or sandals while you're going on a camp hike. Wear light-colored clothing and long pants to protect from ticks. If you can, tuck your pants into your socks. Be careful around a campfire. Never step over a fire or on top of the logs around it. Know what's in a first aid kit and why you need it. So with your family, practice being a good camper. And what to do when you're all finished? Be sure to take pictures of what you've done. You can fill out the badge report found on our own service unit homepage. The link is below in the description. And then turn it in or email it to your leader. Finally, are you ready to take a pledge? Let's read it together. I pledge to love planet Earth as best I can by spending time in the great outdoors, respecting all plants and animals that I meet, being mindful of what grows around me, using resources wisely, and teaching others to do the same. Hope you've enjoyed this badge. Thanks a lot.